we're back to doing uh, Facebook. Oh. Well, you ruined the whole show. <laughs> Welcome to I'll Beer see, 30. I'll see you guys. Welcome to Beer 30. I'm Greg. With me is these two guys I like to call Josh. One guy and one And idiot. Josh. Hi, Greg. Yep. Hi. How's it going? Great. So, today... I, Get off I, your phone. I'm Look trying. at this. People uh, are annoying. Me. More interested in his phone. Today we have a beer like from kids. Dogfish Head um, called Dragons and Yum Yums. What style is this? It's a <laughs> fruity, uh, fruity style. Has this been I, cellared for a while, or no? This okay. I got this one. This is a. Hey, let me get off. Uh, th this is a pale ale brewed with dragon fruit and y dragon fruit and yummy berry, passion fruit, pear, and black carrot juices. Huh. Mm, man. So black carrot juice. So it's actually. Are you uh, a fan of black carrot juice, Josh? Never heard of black carrot juice. The flaming lips are. Uh, like featured on this. I heard black carrots are never mind. Remember the the flaming lips? I that, remember the name. I can't tell song, you the song uh, or anything. Uh, or she don't use jelly. Yeah. She uses tangerines or Vaseline. Yeah. Yeah. So six point five A B V. Holy cow. Yeah. It's the cool thing to have a band sponsor one of your beer or be on your beer label or I, something. Yeah, I'm sure they're getting paid a pretty penny. So, to do um, that. man, it is crystal clear. Holy cow! It's clear and uh, smells hoppy. Don't yeah. tell me. Okay. Oh, he's got the ID on. Uh, mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm going higher than. Mm -hmm. You. He's struggling. He's so, struggling. Let's go with 38. 38. Too no. High. Really? 25. 25. Wow. So it's a very... Like, it's not a sweet... I don't think it's no. sweet fruit. No. I don't taste carrots either. <laughs> well, I don't know. Black carrots, isn't that kind of a... Um, it's like a fancy... It's a fancy carrot. Fancy root vegetable? I guess oh, so. I'm sure it's I part of the carrot family. I, I don't know. Let's look it up. Are they pur I thought they were They're purple pur carrots. Or is that purple carrots? I don't know. I've heard of purple carrots. I don't know black carrots. Oh, oh, they look black. black. Holy yeah. crap. Extracts from black carrots are often used as a natural food coloring. Unlike normal oh. carrots, which owe their color to the keratin carotene. Content, carotene content, black carrots contain anthocyan cyanin. Hmm. Cyanogen. Mm. Interesting. What do they? Yeah. Does it say what they t do? They taste like carrots. Uh, let's see. What does black carrots taste like? <laughs> Although purple carrots are dramatic and eye-catching, many of them are only purple on the outside. Their center core is decidedly orange. Wow. Which can use, which can but, often be detected when looking at the exterior. But that's closely. purple, not that's black. That's purple. What yeah, about black? I don't know. I mean, that's. It must be the same thing. It's a mystery. So this tastes. To me, just like a Seems very fam familiar, it's it's like a pale ale. Yeah. Yeah. It has just some bitters in it. To me, but it's really. I mean, would you say twenty five IBUs? Yeah, that that seems a little low to me. I agree. Get you back too. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's um, not. It's, it's not, not horrible. It's not offensive. No, and, and I mean, I definitely have the lower tolerance. You know what? It kind of. It kind of reminds me. What's that one from Schlafly that they no longer make anymore? Are they ESB? Do, ESB. It kind of reminds me of an ESB. Special bitter. E extra special bitter. Hmm. It reminds me of something malty. that we've had. It, it's almost it, kind of malty. Are you getting that? Yeah. There's some more no, love. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm ready for. It's not bad. What you brought. All right. Well. 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 So. I guess we should also say Dogfish Head. They just recently were acquired. It, acquired? Yeah. Is it a, a complete merger, merger or, or is it a they buyout? Were, yeah, they were acquired. So they were acquired by Sam Adams, Boston Brewing Company. You guys have any opinion on that? I mean, I was a little bit taken aback out. by it. Yeah, mixed feelings because I felt like, yeah, it, even the the story that I read said this is kind of the beginning of more to come with these craft breweries where I agree. these bigger ones are going to start. It, it's starting to drift away from maybe like the the love uh, of that 
uh, of your craft and then becoming more of a business, especially as these um, these these owners and these I, families get older. I well, think the one. Oh, go ahead. Realistically, how how many years do you think this craft beer, the most recent explosion of craft beer, and I'm not talking when Sam Adams came on the market or you know, and really even Dogfish Head came on the market. When we saw the explosion of like four hands perennial, right? In 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 our in region, St. Louis. What well, would you say? Lot. Ten years. Within the past, probably yeah, even less than that. So, yeah. so you figure after two years of owning a business and doing that every day, mm-hmm. if someone came to you and said, "I'm going to write you a fat check yeah. for your name and your recipes," I, I don't know, man. It was a huge payday for what's his name, uh, the, the founder of Dogfish Head. I can't. Um, he was like a pioneer in craft. The well, craft they're both. Beer. Is he Sam Sam Cologne? One, Cologne, yeah. Once uh, Sam Cook. Is that the that's Boston Brewing? Uh, is that Sam uh, Greg? Greg Cook. Greg Cook. But anyway, I think he, I think the family made something like uh, several several million dollars. I read his well, I book. It was over ten, wasn't it? Yeah. The guy who did the um, thirteen maybe dogfish head. Yeah. Is it is it his name? Yeah, we should look up. We're just randomly spouting out nonsense here. We should probably be looking up the facts. Uh, Sam Colo. Okay. We were right. Um, I read his book. It's very interesting about how he started in college brewing beers and, you know. Well, that's the same story that, uh, what's that brewery in in Rolla? Uh, Oh, hell. That's the same thing they say. His his dad, his name's Josh, his dad brewed beer kind of thing, and he always had, through college, he would brew his own beer at the dorm. Um and, and I think, you know, that's probably when some of that stuff starts. So I think, so Dogfish Head, they're pretty well known. I mean, they're established. Public yeah, Public House. Dogfish Head was established. They they were doing well on their own. Oh, I there was it, one. They, yeah, they, they were one of the big names. They just recently came into uh, to the St. Louis area. And I'd put them up there with probably like Stone or some oh, of the sure. other, other bigger uh, sure. beer craft. Um, but I think... There's gonna be an implode, you know, like some of the because a tightening. When like today, I went to the the beer store. There is so many, you, you can't even imagine. You don't know what to look for. There's yeah. so many, bro- yeah. so many different types, and like there were some that I saw on the shelf. It said "Drink by June something." I'm like, well, that's in a couple. <laughs> that's in a week, so it's been here for a while. You want my prediction? I think you're going to see what Four Hands is doing become the trend. Four Hands is, they're not moving into the spirits, they're not abandoning their beer line, but they've they have started doing gin and other distilled liquors. I see that as the next market, that craft, oh. craft distilled alcohol. Yeah. Um, I see that as the next, the next area to go. And mm. also, I think the ones that are trying to, like... If they're trying to can and be on the grocery right. shelves and stuff like that, there's such a fight in the liquor stores sure. and the grocery stores to be on that shelf. Yep. You're going to be, you're not going to do as well as, like, a local place that is yep. only selling their stuff there or, you know. So looking at that stats, it was founded in 1995. So Sam has been doing this for 23 years. Right. Let's say someone walked in and said, hey, I want to cut you a check for $23 million. How did you read that from But me? I want your brewery name. We're going to take over management of the brewery. We will own your company, but right. you get a check to go away. Right. And Hell yes. We were way off in our estimates. So it was uh, so the, co- the co-founders, Sam and his wife, Mar- Mariah Cal- Calagion. I don't know how I pronounce it. I thought it was just Cologne. It could be. Well, anyway, they, 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 when they were, they were acquired, they received 406 shares worth three hundred fourteen dollars per share, so it's one hundred twenty seven million dollars. I'd walk away in a heartbeat. Yeah, and they I'd still get to be like a part of the business. Million. Yeah, right. <laughs> so and they, right. have, you, I mean, you, you have access to more money. I mean, you well, have, and and, and it's, like you said, it's a bigger footprint. Yeah, Sam Adams is everywhere. Yeah, uh, same Goose Island. As yeah. much as people say, oh, they, you know, they sold out and all this, right? But they are. 
they got more money to do more things. Well, and another great example, that Golden Road Brewing. They make that mango cart beer that Annette found. They also make a melon cart beer. Mm -hmm. and they're, they're very good beers. They're owned by Miller. No, or they're owned by, by AB. AB too. Yeah. No, we we would have never heard of this brewery if it was wasn't yeah. for the fact that AB yeah. owns them and now distributes them. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a it's a catch twenty two. It's a business, yeah. and you know, and, and that's what it comes down to. And they can still let them do whatever they do best, you know. Just so if you want to write me a check for a couple hundred million, I'll I'll retire from this podcast. You'll never see me again. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, what do you uh, what do you guys think of this beer? What is your rating? Eh, B. Eh, me. I I'm like sorry, it. I didn't uh, say that. Rude. <laughs> yeah, it was rude. It's refreshing, and uh, you know, I, I like it. It's it's pretty good beer. I'd say A minus. Oh, go ahead. What do you say? I was gonna say A minus as well. It's it's pretty much it. I like oh, that kind of bitter. Mind. Bitter. Yeah, uh, you like IPAs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Eh, I don't think it's more. I think it's more it's, of a. No, I, it's not an IPA, ESB. but it's definitely leaning to that bitter side of things. So, do you have something more for this no. show? Or, okay, I'll save it. So, everyone, uh, check out our other videos on beer30.tv. That's our website. Or you can just go on YouTube and search for beer30tv. We'll see you next time.